Hello and welcome back to Lorifent Gaming Plays Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm your host Lorifent. In today's Animal Crossing New Horizons video, we're on day four this time. We're getting a nice introduction to Blathers. And yeah, we're also gonna do is get him out of that tent. Yeah, we're gonna definitely uh, do that. We're also gonna do is a nice introduction to uh, Gulliver. Yeah, it's one of those events in Animal Crossing you will actually discover. I'll show you all that today. And finally, we're gonna pay off the tent. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Animal Crossing New Horizons videos like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell. You update my videos and more. Now, in the last video, we had a battle with the wasp, and the uh, wasp has a uh, loss. Today, no, we're going to do some uh, stuff here. This is why it's a little bit longer than it normally is. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on this uh, game right here. Now, this is like your daily message from Tom Frazetti uh, Nook here. Yeah, you heard me right. Yeah. He does have a secret life in uh, Vice City. Yeah, trust me. They made a game on him instead of, uh, you know, uh, his uh, species. Yeah, they had to make him human, though. It's like a true story here, folks. Yeah, read all about it. I should say play the game. Yeah, just uh, imagine the uh, main protagonist is not a human. That's all you need for your imagination. Now, I am doing here is daily upkeep of my uh, flowers here. Why is that? Well, you see here, I'm trying to crossbreed to either, I think it's uh, blue, purple, or uh, black flowers. You're asking why you're doing this. You're doing this all this work here. Well, here's the thing right here. I am doing two reasons. Number one, I want to catch a bug that's only exclusive to those flowers. And number two, I want to report about it. And I just lost my uh, flimsy watering can. I have to go and get it. Yeah, that's important here. I'll go get the mail back, but still, like I said before, you uh, definitely want a variety of flowers. You might start seeing those around town. This way I can start experimenting until I get the ones I want to get here. So this way we have different species of flowers here. Yeah, that guy might be uh, coming uh, late, but I'll uh, see about it, if you uh, know what I mean. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and uh, try to look for uh, what you call the... Uh, option to buy. Let's see if I could buy the uh, flimsy uh, watering can. Yeah, I want to buy myself one of those. I don't want to craft them. Ooh, camp stove, water cooler. Yeah, I don't have a table. That's all right. A little bit uh, double the price of the uh, fishing uh, rod and the net, but still is very useful. Yeah, come on, seriously. It is really useful. And there you uh, go here. So we got ourselves a watering can. Yeah, you will eventually need to replace those. The upgrade version is much, much uh, better. You're going to see that in, like, in future videos. Yeah, I did eventually uh, get those. So let's go ahead and finish our uh, wiring up because, yeah, you want to take care of the flowers here. You always want to take care of the flowers, especially in this game here. Like I said before, I'm trying to do a different variety of uh, bugs, and etc., and uh, more here. Yeah, you see... April's coming, and I want to give a full report on the bug catching and more. Also, the uh, fishing, too, for that month, too. Yeah, I wanted to give everybody some uh, advice about those uh, type of species you want to catch. Different bugs, different fishes, and more. And you see right here, I do not have storage for the house yet, so for now, I'm just leaving everything outside. Eventually, one day, I am just going to do is just uh, straight up, once I get the storage in the house, put them all in there. For now, you can do that safely. The uh, critters will not take it away, put in recycle. I think it was the uh, one of the other games, if you left things around too long, yeah, they took that away. So now I'm gonna do is uh, mess with the uh, ax here. Yeah, my first mistake was is I didn't dig a hole. Yeah, I think I didn't have a shovel yet. Yeah, but still, you wanna do this when you have a shovel because there's a way to do it. You see, I'm gonna show you uh, one of these times that you uh, dig a. Uh, Behind you, like two holes, and you stand between the holes and just whack at it, and that's it. It's real easy. So let's go ahead and talk with one of our uh, villagers. <laughs> Hello, 
After speaking with one of the villagers and one of the twins from the Shining here, let's go ahead and visit Blathers here. Yeah, we got him his tent here. We got to get him out of his tent. So let's go ahead and see what's up right now. <laughs>
I will admit, though, every time when you give Lazarus a bug that's new, yeah, it is really fun. But here's the real reason. He owes uh, Tom Frazetti Nook some money, or I should say Bells. Yeah, that's why he is so scared. You know, that's the main reason why. Another form of good news is a vaulting pole we get to uh, make. Why do you think that's important? Well, here's the thing right here. You go across the river. That's new uh, ways to travel across. Yeah. For now, uh, without it, you're confined here. Well, guess what? You're no longer confined here. This is a uh, great right here. This is like really good. That's why this video is going to be in a few parts throughout the day. Yeah. I decided to do so many things throughout the day for today's video here. That's why you get a nice introduction to uh, Gulliver, Blathers, the tent payoff, and more. Yeah. I did a lot in this video. <laughs> yeah, I should say more like a game, but still. I will promise you that vaulting hole will be made in this uh, video. Before we do that, yeah, we got ourselves another uh, butterfly here. Yeah, what we're supposed to do is in order to upgrade Bladder's tent here, is you gotta turn at least, I think it's 10 uh, bugs or uh, fishes. Once you uh, do that, yeah, you'll upgrade to a museum. So let's go ahead and speak with the uh, nooks. <laughs> Yeah. 
is official. We are laundering money for the mafia, which is unfortunate. But you know what? It is what it is. And here's the thing about uh, this game right here. You get nook points for everything that you do. Almost everything, which is really cool. Yeah, I'm going to use those for something else in the video too, which is beneficial. Really beneficial. Let me see here. A vaulting pole and a shovel. Cool. Now let's do some material checks here for the vaulting pole and the uh, shovel. So let's go ahead and check this out right now. Let's see here. What can I make here? Let, okay. That vaulting pole. No. A shovel. Yeah, we got a shovel. This is a uh, good right here. Once I am done making it, I'm going to go ahead and speak with Tom Nook here. So let's uh, go ahead and do this uh, now. <laughs> Here's me owing more money to the Nook crime family. Well, at least I will have a black roof for my house. Oh, wow. Nook Miles Plus. This must be like daily tasks, which is actually uh, cool. Yeah, so in other words, take advantage of doing your normal daily stuff like DIY projects, flowering, let's see what else, fishing, getting bells, using a slingshot, just about anything. I'll admit, though, that's like really cool. Yeah, see, earn bells by selling items, catch bugs, plant stuff, and yeah, this is neat, though. All you do is just do a uh, normal daily tasks and yeah, you're all set. And they, I think they just keep on coming though, which is uh, great though. In other words, you'll be busy. Yeah, besides, you're working for the Nook Crime family now. Yeah, that paid vacation, you paid for it all right. Yeah, I'll probably get a few of those done. Yeah, you'll go see that in the video. And let's see what else I could do here. Okay, let's look around. Yeah, I think I have to uh, buy and sell stuff. Let's see here. Let's see here. What's for sale? Yeah, let's uh, look at that. Oh, those two things are cool. Let's see what else. Okay. Okay, flower. Okay, I might as well get myself a yellow Cosmo. You may never know. Yeah, at time recording, I was uh, sure my uh, setup. It's been a long time since I played this game. And there's a certain combination of flowers you uh, put side by side each other or a certain uh, setup for that. Yeah, it was all that. And also, you definitely want to talk to uh, Nook here. He'll uh, give you some advice here. And he's just telling you right now your home's under construction. Think about furnishing. And he's also trying to guide you to the Nook shop. Yeah, it's a mafia type of thing here. So let's see here. Welcome to Nook shop. Yeah, you see here, what's great about this is if you use this a uh, few amount of days in a row here, you'll get some uh, points. Yeah, see? Now I'll just tell you right now, you get more benefits in the Nook mileage program. And yeah, redeem, redeem uh, Nook Miles. This is a great right here. The one I want is, uh, let's see here, Pocket Organization Guide here. I think that's the one I want. That carries you uh, more inventory space. And that, that tool ring is important too, though. I'll eventually either get in this video or definitely the next video. Yeah, you definitely want to redeem this. It's the very first thing you want to redeem. If not, go out there right now and just uh, save. I'll just check out the other stuff here. If I want to nookify my house, I would, but yeah, I might nookify it one day just for the Happy Home Association. Oh, by the way, that's more of that later on, too. That'll be for another video for that. That's a pretty good tool recipes. That's the second thing you want to get, though, or the uh, tool ring. Either one of those are very good. So now it's going to tell you right now you could be able to carry more inventory space. This is what you want right here. Let's be honest here. You want to carry more things, more things you could carry. More activities you could do. You want to do more activities, especially fishing and bug catching, because you make a lot of money from that. And there you go, voila. 
So now we're uh, done with that. We got more inventory space. This is why I want here. Yeah, I seriously want more inventory space right here. There's one little creepy little children here from the Shining Hotel. We just saw, saw a little glimpse of. Yeah, we saw a glimpse of those here. And let's check it here. Yep, I'm just looking around. All right, we got ourselves a shovel here. Yeah, let's see if I do my old method. I try to remember if I did or didn't as I record this. Yeah, I do a lot of things. Let's see here. Yeah, this is neat though. I have to look at that. This is like my inventory. Okay, meshes in the bottle. Really quick. DIY recipes. Yeah, see, there you go. And we got ourselves some new uh, DIY recipes. And we got ourselves a wood block chest here. Every time you uh, find these, and if you didn't learn, well, go ahead and use them. You get to learn something new, which is great. And this is the uh, what I'm about to talk about here. I think I made only one hole, which was a big mistake. You want to make two holes, yeah, because reason being is you get to do a whole round. If you can do a whole round, that's great. And if you're trying to do like I'm doing, yeah, you're not going to get the whole eight. Yeah, you will not. Yeah, you'll uh, just only get a uh, seven. I will uh, demonstrate this method in this video here. Still, you want two uh, holes made. I'll explain that in great detail when I uh, come up on a rock like this here. So for now, let's go ahead and just do some serious fun and exploring. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and do some exploring. Okay, I think I need to do another one. Yeah, let's see if I remember I did two. Yeah, I started to remember I have to do uh, two here. I think I positioned this wrong here. Yeah, you see, you have a position like I am doing. Just keep on smashing that button here. Just keep on going. Yeah, keep on going faster and faster. Yeah, keep on going until your uh, fingers bleed out. Yeah, just keep on going until it stops, until you get the last one. And look at that, though. Look at this here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's around the rock right here. Yep. You want to do that like I did, and you see, you get more stuff out of it. Takes a little bit of work here that's good, and it's very beneficial. See, look at that right here. I'll definitely put timestamps and videos for those, so this way I'll show everybody that you can benefit from this. And we get Nook Miles for going around the rock, I call it. Yeah, Rock Spling Champion here. A single rock eight times. 500 Nook Points. That's very valuable. We have almost enough for the uh, tool wheel. Yeah, the tool wheel is very useful. I mean, come on, it is really useful. We got ourselves a wooden block chest. We need wooden block toys to make. So let's go inside, see what else we could do inside the uh, area here. <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, double checking, making sure I, uh, you know, had that going with the house. Yeah, double checking on that. So first thing I am going to do is actually go check the mail. Then I am going to water the rest of my uh, plants here, plant some new stuff, water that too. Then get the uh, materials for, you guessed it right here, everyone. The vaulting pole. Also, I'm going to catch some uh, stuff while I'm doing it too. Yeah. Goal is uh, 10, so I'll probably do some of that off screen for this video here until towards the end. So this way I can turn that in, show you the last few. Uh, for those turns, you want to go for high value first. Yeah, they'll be counted once you get the museum. Don't worry. And there's my uh, package from uh, Nookazon. Yeah, I mean Nook Shop. You all get the picture. Let's open it up. My 8-ball tee. Yes, let's go ahead and wear it. All right. Yeah, my character throughout this series will uh, change styles for a while. I, I'm going to be honest here. I'm going to look for more Nintendo related stuff here. Let, let's, 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 let's be here, clear here. Everybody wants to wear something like Mario or uh, Sonic or uh, Samus. Yeah, I mean, come on. Let's, let, let's, let's, let's uh, get that out of the room right here. I mean, come on. You could become Link. Hopefully have a Zelda one for the ladies here. Mario. Hopefully that Princess Toadstool. You all get the picture here. May Mario, Link, or I think I'll probably sell for those two. Hopefully Earthbound. Yeah, that's another one though. Yeah, give me the one uh, dude from Earthbound though. Yeah, the main character. Yeah, I want to dress up as him. I don't mind the other two dudes. Yeah, the especially the uh, martial arts one. Yeah, I don't mind that too. So let's see here. I'm just looking around. Okay, Nook Miles. What did I uh, get here? Oh, yeah, I got that because I uh, did some uh, flower planting seeds. Yeah, plant flower seeds. You do get Nook Miles for that. You definitely want to collect those because that's like very important, though. 
There's my custom designs, DIY. I'm just going to look, see what I uh, do need. Okay, I need uh, softwood. Yeah, that's what I have to go after. Exactly, uh, I think, five. Let's see here. Yeah, let's go uh, use our axe. Okay, let's go collect that. Yeah, here's a tip for me you do not want to do. You do not want to just hit this right away. Instead, you really want to do is go ahead and grab your uh, net here. I found out uh, later on I just did that. Grab your uh, net and then shake the tree. Then uh, if it's a wasp, go ahead and catch it. All right, look like we're uh, collecting materials because of that. Yeah, we got ourselves some another bunch of nook points. This is uh, good right here. I mean, this is good, but like I said before, yeah. I'm doing what I'm doing is the wrong way, but at the time I was desperate for uh, softwood. Still, you want to do is have your net, which you uh, shake the tree a few times until a few things come out. Wasp nest comes out. You're ready with the net, and boom, instant catch right here. Plus a lot of money, too. Think about it, too. Okay, we got five softwood. Let me grab a few extras. I think it's five or eight. Yeah, I think it was one of those numbers. Probably eight, though, but I'll just grab a few extras. Let's see here. Come on, uh, let's keep on doing it. And, okay. Look like that's none there, but, yeah, you still got to keep on trying. Okay, looks like I think it's eight. Maybe ten. I'll see here. All right, we got one. One more. I think that's it. You guessed it. You want to make that vaulting pole so you go across the river. Oops, it went bye-bye. And there goes my axe. Kiss it goodbye. Yep, kiss that goodbye. Let's see here. Okay, I got seven. I'll probably have to get one more and do it again. And I'll be that. Let's see here for a few moments. I think I might have enough, though. Let's just look at it right now. Let's see here. What should I craft? Hmm. Let's see here. We're at the DIY bench. All right. That is craftable. So is the axe. So is the shovel. Softwood. Yeah, I only need it five. Thought I'd need it five to eight. And we have access to go across the river. This is great right here, everyone. And we still got to make that axe, though. Let's go ahead and do it right now. Yep. We have to craft stuff like this for uh, now until you actually uh, will get better. And then one day you get yourself a nice uh, golden axe. I think those are uh, powerful. I have to be careful with that with the uh, trees with the golden axes though. Because yeah, that's one swipe. That's it. The regular axes, yeah, they could chop down. Now there's a much more uh, better stone axes on the other hand. And yeah. Let's go ahead and select our vaulting pole. And go ahead and try going across here. And let's go ahead and uh, go across right now. And whee! And look at that. We got new access to new territories. Also, we could do is fish there, which is uh, great. Now, we have got ourselves another uh, problem. How the heck we get up there? And we got something new. Yeah, fossil spots right here. So, go ahead, grab your trusty, flimsy shovel, and go ahead and dig that up. Yeah, we'll go do a little bit of that, too. There you go. Look why I dug up a fossil. These are also uh, great money makers. If you also will already turn them in. You can also not turn them in. Just go ahead and sell them after they're identified. But still, this is great right here. And we got ourselves a nook bile just for uh, digging up a fossil. But they're great money makers too. However, like uh, money rocks, they're very limited. That's why I said do fishing and uh, bug catching. Yeah. Still, it's a great source of income though. It's another like alternative. You're not going to get super rich, but still that's uh, pretty uh, cool. Ooh, I missed that. So what I'm going to do right now is just chill. I'm going to go off screen. If I do discover anything, I'll tell everybody. Okay, what happened was is I discovered this fella. I'm 
Now, let's meet this goofball Gulliver here. He usually gets stranded somewhere, in this case, on a beach here. Here's what happens here. You have to actually uh, dig up five uh, electronic components. Yeah, there are uh, broken communication components here. You need a total, I believe, at least five of them. Well, the reason being is once you uh, do uh, get that, what happens is you turn them in, then Gulliver next day or two will actually mail you something. Hopefully, it is very uh, good here. Uh, like I said before, if I see any special events, I'll go ahead and record it. So this way, everybody gets to see it and benefit from actually uh, doing them on their own. Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm that type of person. Let's see here. Okay, there's the map here. Now, good news is they're all on the beach here. That's the uh, great news. It's just like digging up for those uh, clams. That's uh, another good news, too. Yep, so there's something there. We're going to dig it up right now. We just discovered it. And there you go. I found a communicator part here. Yeah, we only need a total of five of them. Yeah, this goofball here is making us do all the uh, legwork. Yeah, and I'm just checking everywhere, making sure I actually will uh, find them. You can also uh, dig up for these uh, clams here to actually uh, use as bait. For hard fishes here, they'll get distracted. You pull out your fishing rod, and then you go catch them. It makes fishing a lot more easier. Seriously. You have to make a lot of those clams, though. There are uh, means on the internet. And if you know what I'm talking about, yeah. You know what places I've been to. <laughs> but seriously, we're going to get on the other side and go ahead and dig. This is one of those uh, special activities I'm doing right now. Yeah, I'm doing them. I also might be doing an Easter special too. I'll probably uh, do that or like highlights at least of what I uh, done during Easter. Okay, we still got to look for uh, more here. Yeah, also this spot right here. This is a good spot to plant money trees. I hadn't done it yet. So yeah, if you get a chance you see a gold spot like that, go ahead. If I remember right, more you plant, more investments you will uh, get a return eventually. So, for instance, if you put, I say, a 99,000 uh, uh, bell uh, bag, yeah, you'll get a whole bunch of money in return for that. A big old tree for that, which is neat, though. But that's just uh, me uh, rambling on about that. But for now, we'll uh, deal with that when it comes to it. And there is electronic part number two. Again, I'll put time sense of veal, but I'll use them as my example here. So this way you all will uh, benefit. And we'll have to kiss that fish goodbye. Yeah, let's see here first. Uh, nope, I think I missed this one. All right, that is number three. We're down to two more left. Yeah, we're uh, helping a Gulliver here. Yeah, this goofball. Yeah. Now, uh, like I said before, I'm only going to touch up on him once here, and that's it. And the other Animal Crossing games, if I remember right, he actually does play uh, trivia with you. You gotta know your world trivia in order to get the stuff you uh, get from some of it's actually uh, I'm gonna be honest here. It's actually a uh, very neat though you get from around the world. I mean, it's some neat things. I had a few of them in my house. It's like a nice collection. That's all I have to uh, say. Now while I'm looking for the uh, last one, I'm gonna give everybody a tip here. As soon as you arrive in this type of area here, the uh, docks here. Yeah, those uh, docks, once in a while, if you uh, can find them, a blue marlin, go ahead and get those. You're asking, uh, why should I get a blue marlin? Okay, you uh, besides turning into a museum, when that comes up, those are worth a lot of bells. That's why. Eventually, if they uh, do uh, come into season, 
I'll uh, post in a video and plus their uh, cash value too. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, doing a lot of videos like that. Yeah, you heard me right. Bugs and fishes for that uh, month. So get ready for that. And uh, one more is missing here. It's a little bit hard to see here. Let me see here. Yeah, I'm zooming in at this point. So yeah, I'm just being very uh, careful here. It's the last one here. And then that's it for uh, Gulliver. I'll speak to that goofball. Yeah, make me run around and oh, there is right here. Yeah, see a little bit hard to see. And voila, that is the last and final uh, communicator part. Now we get to turn the Gulliver here. Let you all get entertained by him. At least he does not owe uh, Tom Nook money. That's the uh, good news. Seriously, that is the uh, very uh, good news here. So, what I'm going to do right now is actually going to va on over and then uh, speak with uh, Gulliver, and you'll see. Uh, the uh, craziness behind this uh, goofball here. So once I uh, do get near him, I'm going to do exactly speak with him. I'll return after he's done. There you go. We complete Gulliver's task here. I think it's one or two days. You will uh, get something from him, which is actually a uh, really cool. Don't know which. And yeah, we're uh, looking down here. There you go. It's up there. Gulliver's travels. Yeah, we just got to probably keep on doing that eventually. Oh, that's a lot to do on the next tier. Ten, uh, nine more times with them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Well, that is it for uh, Gulliver's Travels here. Now, next part here I did was is uh, I decided to go ahead and uh, do some extra stuff here. Yeah. So, seriously, some extra stuff here. I did a lot doing this video here. I mean, let's be honest here. I did so much, but still what I'm going to do right now is I believe I was supposed to work on the DIY. Yeah, I was supposed to do that and then uh, show off some more uh, goodies. Let's see over here. Yeah, I got enough materials for the wood block chest here. At the time, I thought it was a storage capacity, but you're going to see it's something else uh, different. I'm going to show everybody that. I made a wood block uh, chest here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I thought I could store my stuff. Yeah, I was looking for storage. I was actually uh, jonesing for uh, storage here. Yeah, I was in a dire need for storage. So let's go over here right now. Yep, besides grabbing that. Yeah, you want to pick everything up, clean it up. I'm going to show you this uh, chest here. Actually, it does is, um, it actually, uh, it's like a storage capacity for uh, clothing. Yeah, you get to switch clothes, which is uh, very neat here. Yeah, let's put this here, place it here. Yeah, you're going to see, uh, this will uh, allow you to uh, switch clothes, which is uh, awesome, I hate to say. Should I get changed? Yes, you should get changed, most definitely. See, you can change clothes. You don't like some? There you go. You can also wear those uh, custom uh, things you are made, too, which is uh, very neat. So, if you want to say you make a custom uh, Captain America symbol here, yeah, you could do that. Or if you want the one-up mushroom you made, yeah, you could do that. You could wear a shirt with the one-up mushroom, which is uh, very neat. I think I can't fit anything else in here, but tomorrow I'm going to have big space, though. Really, some big old space here. So let's go outside. I'll drop some stuff off. And then I'll probably do some off-screen uh, fishing, so I'll uh, return. There you go. So I'm going to go turn the last of this uh, set here to uh, Blathers here. After that, I'll uh, most likely uh, go ahead and uh, end the video on the upgrade for Blathers.
All right, we get a museum. Bad news is it'll take two days of actual construction because the next day they'll show be under construction. You cannot turn anything in. So let's go ahead and check and make sure we get this uh, upgrade going. All right, yes, we uh, did it here. We upgraded the uh, museum. Yeah, that's done right here. So you know what? I have some extra Nook miles because I did some off-screen stuff which is uh, very neat here. I might as well go ahead and redeem at least one or two things here. Yeah, you're getting those extra Nook miles, you might as well do it. Redeem some of the essentials here. Yeah. What the definition of essentials is up to you. I got about 4.3K of those. Pretty good recipes here for uh, 3K. Yeah, we're going to get those. You can get that or the tool ring. That's like the second one in the game. First one, you want to get that inventory upgrade. I will not stress it like crazy. And look at that. Recipe data is now stored on your app. Thanks for shopping. And look at this. Look at this. He's celebrating. Yeah, there we go. Yes. I get to make stronger tools that last longer. They do cost uh, some of them iron. And iron tends to be rare until you probably uh, go up there later on. Hopefully, it's a mining thing I get to do. Let's see here. Oh, custom pro design. Hmm. No, I grabbed the wrong thing. Okay, that's not it. This is it here. Yeah, tool ring. You definitely want to get this. This is like your shortcut. Consider it like your uh, weapon ring in FPS games here. Or those of you who uh, came from Doom Eternal, you know what the, that what I'm talking about here. And which, by the way, welcome to the channel. And I'm glad you all enjoyed my little video guides. And now we get ourselves a tool ring just like a gun ring from Doom Eternal. And when you go outside, you hit the up button. And it's very cool. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if, if I remember I demonstrate that right. Let's go ahead and uh, do that, I think. Let's see here. Hit the up button. Look, yeah, see, tool ring right here, which is really uh, cool. So let me give everybody a recap of uh, today's video here. We uh, paid off the tent. Now we're going to get a house for the next video here. Uh, we uh, started a nice garden here some more, which looks very uh, neat here. We met Gulliver. We met Blathers, got him out of that tent faster than us getting out of our tent. And we got some, some new uh, tool upgrades we have to make later on off screen. And also, best of all, is the tool ring right here. In the next video, we're going to be getting a new work order. We're going to get ourselves a house. And we're going to be in debt to uh, Tom Frisetti Nook. This is uh, Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night and please stay safe please subscribe to my channel for more content like this and do not forget hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more if you like more videos like i suggested check out the one on the upper left and on the bottom left if you like youtube suggestion of my videos